Hey, I just wanted to answer your question about why is it that they don't want to answer questions. So we were talking about when you ask a guy a question about something you need or want or curious about, especially if it is something that he doesn't want to deal with right now or he doesn't know the answer or it requires him talking about his feelings. Um, they don't, they don't answer. They are men, some men, a lot of men are really good at saying just enough. And I think that those are really the reasons. Um, it's sort of like, I heard a guy say, it's a question, it's a problem for future me that today me doesn't want to deal with. Um, a lot of times that they don't know what they want. They don't know how they feel. Um, they can't articulate it. Um, they have a situation that is working and maybe meeting one of your needs is something they don't want to actually deal with or they're not sure. And so they sort of are really good at just sort of like putting you off or putting that off. It doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad person, but you really want to follow up with that. What do you mean by that exactly? Um, because you now want that information to be able to be empowered in your own life. Um, and I also do think like it's a really important skill that you want your long-term partner to have is to be able to have those conversations. So he gets a, a pass for sort of like wanting to not avoid it because, you know, men have like 7,000 words a day and women have like 21,000 words a day. It's how does he come back to that compatibility, compatibility with you? How does he actually deal with the situation at hand and it's really important that you um that you follow up that you you don't let him wiggle out of it so hopefully that helps